Meghan Markle captured the hearts of the nation, as she arrived with Prince Harry to her first official engagement yesterday, with many comparing the future Duchess to Princess Diana. Prince Harry and Meghan arrived in Nottingham to a warm welcome, with whoops of Meghan, Meghan erupting from the fans, who flocked to see the bride-to-be. And Meghan did not disappoint, reaching out to well-wishers and rubbing their frozen hands, between her own as she beamed at the crowds. Leaning in to chat to the young and the old, there was no awkwardness, as she weaved down the street, politely thanking everyone for coming out, in such huge numbers. In the couple's first official interview together, on Monday after Clarence House announced their engagement, Prince Harry said he was sure Meghan, and his mother would have been thick as thieves. And the Suits actress certainly proved she could be the next People's Princess, as she charmed royal followers, on Friday. Yvonne Anderson, was among the crowd, and said, she showed real affection, she wasn't stiff, and I loved that, we want to see the warmth. I do think she could capture people's hearts like Diana did. We are ready for a new people's princess, and I do think it will be her. The 36-year-old actress looked stylish yet elegant for her first post-engagement outing, opting for a chic navy coat and high-heeled boots. Crouching down to talk to small children, she even made one excited fan's day, after they dropped their glove on the floor, and Meghan bent on to pick it up, before handing it back to the surprised owner. The gesture is a telltale sign Meghan has cemented her position as a royal in waiting, according to body language expert Judy James. She said, this type of spontaneous, and natural response completely mirrors the kind of behavior that Diana used and which earned her the tag The People's Princess. Meghan's actress experience clearly showed, in the levels of confidence she brought to this very speedy first royal engagement, but this was no playing a regal role gig, for Harry's new fiancé who brought a very genuine, and low-key warmth to her walkabout in Nottingham. During their first outing the pair visited the Terence Higgins Trust, charity fair to mark World AIDS Day a subject close to Harry's heart thanks to the work his late mum Princess Diana, did with HIV and patients. And it seems the couple are keen to continue Diana's legacy, with Meghna already being renowned, for her dedication to philanthropy. Before meeting Harry, Meghan had already travelled to Rwanda to raise awareness of the need, for clean water supplies. Harry's charity work in Africa is close to his heart, particularly his AIDS awareness charity ex in Lesotho. His decision to introduce Meghan, on their first official outing, to the Terence Higgins Trust, which raises awareness of AIDS and HIV, must have been a conscious move. AIDS awareness was perhaps most of all, Diana's cause. It is 30 years since she held the hand of an AIDS sufferer, a simple act which changed attitudes across the world. Judy James said, Meghan showed she was already deeply tuned into Diana's memory during the engagement interview, and her approach to the crowds, on her first engagement showed she is keen to inherit some of Diana's legacy, in terms of rapport with the public. In many ways she doesn't need to, because Harry has inherited enough empathy signals for both of them, but Meghan's way of getting close up to the crowds, and chatting in a style that looks even-handed, and natural complements Harry's jokey, fun approach.